Hey guys, tfish 88 here with another figure review. Today, we'll be taking a look at another alien, like Alien Zareb, that appeared in the movie Ultraman Mebius and the Ultra Brothers, and it's Alien Knackle. That's right, today we'll be looking at Alien Knackle. Now, this figure was released in 2006, part of the Ultraman Mebius line by Bandai. And, I, th yeah, the mold was reissued as part of the newer Ultra Monster series, the new numbered series. And, yeah. Being from the Ultraman Mebius line, he has an Ultraman Mebius tag. As you can see here, it says Crew Guys, Ultra Monster series. You've got a nice shot of Knackle here from the movie. Really, really nice. Stats here. He's apparently 52 meters tall. Some other stuff there. Open it up. Some nice info on the character, I assume. Other stuff. Yeah. Ultraman Mobius and the Ultra Brothers series SP, which I'm pretty sure stands for special. 40th anniversary of Ultraman. And Mebius. And I do love the little thing they did with the tag here. Love it. I think it's really cool. Articulation on this guy is really basic. He, he only has the three basic points for a figure of his type. The arms do both rotate 360. No surprise there. As does the waist. So yeah, only three points, but... Being what he is, you can't really complain. Oh well. So yeah. Now, detail on Knackle is really nicely done. As you can see, the face is covered in ridges and whatnot. It just covers the entire head and looks excellent, actually. Even the back of the head here. All these ridges and everything. Even these little individual pieces here have ridges. Like, yeah. Looks really, really good. The things of fur here, well, they look like fur, which is what you would want, obviously. Body's really nicely done. There's cracks going all around, you know, all over the body, and looks really good. Hands look really nice too. Yeah, see what I mean by the body? It's covered in cracks and everything. Looks really good. Feet. Looks like it has painted toenails. <laughs> you get the back. It's just all fur, basically. Yeah, detail on Knackle is actually really nicely done, which isn't a surprise, seeing as though he came from the Mebius line originally. The paint job on Knackle is, actually, I'd say it's really accurate. The figure itself, the vinyl, is molded out of this bluish color here. With, of course, you know, the cracks being a brownish color filled in with all these red dots and everything. Uh, the fur is sort of a tannish cream brown. Well, you know, it has brown highlights here on the shoulders as well he as here. Face is a really dark brown. And uh, this horn like thing here, and I assume his mouth, are both orange. Eyes and the things on the side of his head, sides of his head are red. And basically the figure just looks really really good in paint job, you know, paint job wise. And it looks really accurate to this version of Knackle. So real quick, let's go ahead and scale him up with Ultraman. Yeah, this looks uh accurate to me. Knackle was about 52 meters, Ultraman was 40, Knackle's taller here, and it looks really good. So no complaints on scaling. Shit. As for history, this guy, well this version of Knackle, originally appeared in Ultraman Mammies and the Ultra Brothers, in which he, Alien Temperor, Alien Zareb, and Alien Guts, uh, planned to revive Yapool. 
in the form of Eukilosaurus. And he was actually the last alien to be defeated out of the new four heavenly kings. Uh, after the others in his team were killed off, he uh, managed to stick around long enough to see Yapul revive as Eukilosaurus. But he didn't really last long after that because Eukilosaurus turned on him and killed him. He then appeared in Ultra Galaxy Neo in which he controlled Galbaros. And, um, yeah, he trashed Earthtron, battled Ray's Gamora, and lost. And the last time he's appeared was in Ultra Galaxy Legends, the movie, in which he, along with many, many other monsters and aliens, was part of Ultraman Balial's army. So he was just killed off pretty quickly, which is unfortunate. So yeah. Anyway, the figure is really nicely done. Uh, articulation is basic for an alien figure. Details, fantastic. Paint job is really accurate, and scaling it looks really good. So in the end, I'd say get him if you're interested. He's definitely worth the buy, even if you can't get this one. Go after the reissue. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and until next time, I'll see you. <laughs> the others might have failed, but I, Alien Knackle, will stick around to see the resurrection of Yapool. <laughs> yeah, sorry to break it to you, but I'm kinda still alive.